what is going on guys my name is german welcome back to the channel and if you guys are new here as always leave your boy like and subscribe they dropped a new dokkan battlefield here on us so we're gonna go ahead and take this down today uh, i am bringing zamasu and vegito to this lineup here my characters you guys can see i brought you know vegito <clears throat> and zamasu excuse me let's go ahead and just hop in looks like the first phase is agl so i can assume that the final phase is agl now the final phase i do know is against sort of hope trunks so we'll see we'll see we'll see how this goes we'll see how this goes I don't, I don't think this will be super difficult but you never know when you're uh <clears throat> you never know right but i'm assuming this isn't going to be super difficult because this is based for new players right the, this event is kind of based for new players i didn't see anything about chozetsu dynamic playing at the very end as well so i i think we'll sh we should be chill Mo most of the time dokkan battlefield really isn't super difficult it, it can catch people though and i might i might make a video just making a dokkan battlefield guide because I, I know it's like a mode that confuses a lot of people how to do it. So in my opinion, the best way to start is by using the Ginyu, by using not the Ginyu Force, which actually, I forgot to bring Ginyu. <laughs> it's fine. I, I don't think we're going to need the powers of Ginyu to, to take this out, right? Uh, what I like to do to start off all my runs is to use either the Team Bardock units or the Ginyu Force units. Preferably the Team Bardock units because the Team Bardock units, they're not better than the Ginyu Force characters, right? Because you have Rakum and Goldo, Ginyu, the LR Ginyu forces are very good. These guys, they're just okay-ish type of free-to-play characters at this point in the game's history, right? I do think that using your team Bardock units first and saving your two type advantage teams, right? Because here, you would have used like Super Tech, right? You, you would have used Super Tech here, but let's say Trunks is as ridiculous as possible. You don't want to be missing any of your tech type characters so you can actually take care of Trunks ASAP, right? So... That's why I prefer using the Team Bardock first. Okay, so it so future Gohan. Okay, we want to use we'll use. Here's the thing: STR is broken. <laughs> I guess we'll just use Extreme STR, right? I, I I can't imagine now for Extreme STR. I mean, we don't have to worry. <laughs> we literally don't have to worry. The the eat the coolers will uh, eat up this guy in three seconds, man. We we <laughs> don't have to worry. So I brought the. Uh, what I do for Extreme STR is I like to bring a cooler setup. I like to bring uh, STR coolers, both of them leading together and stuff like that. Well, I guess we could do this. Well, yeah, because, I mean, he's actually getting more with Janemba. What's he getting extra with Janemba? Metamorphosis? Okay. And then Frieza. The reason I put him in slot three is so we can get the actual ATQ with our go to first form Frieza here. Now, I do like bringing the double cooler Terrifying Conqueror team because it's just... It's an actual category buff. Anytime you can use a category buff against the um, battlefield, I would go for it 100% of the time because you get lucky. <laughs> you get lucky, man. Having an actual category leader skill buff on a mode that's usually built to take on like 130% plus teams or 130% and lower like leader skills, you being able to use a category leader at all is very strong. You get the extra stats and stuff like that. So it definitely does help us out a lot more. Yeah, that's why we bring first form freeze, by the way. Okay, this is a ridiculous rotation already off the bat for Cooler. Cooler might just tear apart future Gohan in three attacks, for all I know. <laughs> we we don't have that much HP to worry about. And then, yeah, we, we're getting the support from our guy STR Cooler. So th this is this is easy so far, man. Nothing too crazy, but usually the first levels of Battlefield, they're not they're not like insane. Oh, you can even debuff these guys. Yeah, this, it's, this is nothing. This is nothing. Okay. So there you guys go. I mean, if you guys want some advice for Extreme STR, just if you have cooler, use cooler. Simple as that, man. Simple as that. Simple as that. All right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Whoa, it's a two phaser. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Okay. I, this is is this the first time they've ever done a two phaser like this early? It has to be, right? Usually they save the two phase uh, fights for like the very end. Who was the last two phase fight we had? It was uh, I can't remember. Was it Namek Goku? There was a Namek Goku boss I think was a two-phase fight. Okay, he supers Turles, sure. How much is he gonna do to Turles, actually? Let's see, let's see if they actually put some difficulty behind this. Double digit tank? Yeah, basically. <laughs> we took some damage, but it's not like crazy levels of damage. Yeah, I, this, this should not be so hard, man. This, this, this really, this should be built around like newer players. So it's probably easy enough for a new player, for like a newer-ish player, right? Because you need 100 and, 112 TUR characters or UR characters to actually play Dokkan Battlefield. So you need to have 100 to 112 UR characters. You, you kind of get the point, right? You, 
you need a lot of characters to actually do dokkan battlefield so it's not like super beginner friendly content but it's not like the worst beginner friendly con like beginner content you could do right it, 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 it there's some stuff there's some stuff i i do enjoy dokkan battlefield mainly because of the reward by the way with this i'll actually be able to ring okay well <laughs> he supered in slot one just to get dodged how do you like that how do you like that that full dodge cooler build might be coming soon by the way <laughs> i'm just saying I, i'll keep him full additional i, I want to get as many stacks as possible with cooler i'll keep him at full additional unfortunately is you know i, I could do some dodge but i guess the additionals work out just fine too but with this one, I'll actually be able to easy a Mecha Frieza and King Cold. Now I do have to get dupes for Mecha Frieza and King Cold. They don't. They they have to give out more battlefield memories. They they really do. Like I'm talking, give us enough to buy an LR each time, right? My and Trunks. Okay, let's go with my since physical is my weaker team. Do we want to go Extreme Fizz first? We can actually use the new banner unit Zamasu here as well. And I have started Link leveling Zamasu as well. I do have every Zomasu here during the game link level, so obviously I have to get this one done. Even though the banner unit himself is not very good against a super class enemy, I think he will perform a okay. So that's the build we are rocking with here. Cell as my physical leader. We'll we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't think that this is gonna be super hard. We'll see what Sword of Hope does at the very end. I know that Sword of Hope Trunks is the final boss for all this, so we'll, we'll see what happens at the very end. We can put Turles in slot one pretty comfortably too, by the way. Let's do this. Putting Janemba in slot two will build up his stats and stuff like that, and we can just leave self floating around. So Zamasu in slot seven. So the, the whole point was to use a new character, and he's in slot seven. Does this my stun? She does not. Okay. Th this my by the way will be easy aing at some point. I'm assuming she, they're gonna easy a with their actual unit. Like when Trunks and Zamasu come out, that's when I can expect my and Gowazu and Zamasu to easy a as well. I I can't, I don't know. I just make Mai a dodging character with her easy A. This this Mai is very important. They did give us a brand new Mai as well. Right? That STR banner unit Mai, who's who's okay. Like she's okay to bad. Whereas Zamasu is just horrible against the majority of content. His best fight right now is the red zone gammas, and the red zone gammas will probably cook Zamasu in three seconds. Right? I haven't used the banner unit Zamasu yet. I'm I'm waiting to get him link level ten before I actually use him. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see as we move along here. Uh, we can do a multi, so I'll do a multi at the end, right? I did get a do for Zamasu, so I'll try to chase for Vegito as well. Uh, let's go with Extreme Int. We have our girl Chilai there. Merge Zamasu, Ma Junior, Chilai, Amon, and Raisin, and I guess Oceanus to finish things off here. Oceanus is going to be a very good battlefield character. Oceanus sucks, unfortunately, but I guess at the same time, she is a GT bosses buff. So... I, I guess there's some viability to our girl, to our girl, Ch uh, not Chilai, to our girl Oceanus. Chilai, Chilai's overpowered. Don't worry, don't worry. And you can run her on Zamasu's team, which I might start doing pretty soon, by the way. Once I, I've, I'm currently right now, I'm in the middle of recording like the Zamasu World Tour. I already finished the Vegito one. You guys will see the final videos later today. At the time I'm recording this is the second Dokkan Battlefield came out. Wow. All right, Zamasu. <laughs> All right, Merd Zamasu. <laughs> Pop off, King. Okay. Oh, Zamasu just finishes him off. Cool. <laughs> we had the scouter and everything just for Zamasu to finish him off. All right. Uh, Pog. Pog. Always, always great when we can just one-shot the boss. That's my favorite. Goku Blacku. This is the World Tournament Goku Black too. All right. So let's go with my extreme AGL setup. We want you and you as my leads. Turles, Kakao, and Days. Great Ape, Turles, Golden, Frieza. And we'll do... Goku Black's not on Pure Saiyan, so we'll save LR Baby just in case we need him. I don't think this is going to be hard enough to the point where we need our extra characters, by the way. We're already at level 3. We're about to be at level 3 here in just a little bit, so I, I, I doubt we actually really need to do much. What are they... they yeah, this is going to be a fine rotation, too, by the way. The cooler... The um, Kakao and Days and Great... This Great Ape Turles is crazy. <laughs> like, he's actually a very good sub easy aid. It's, he's not bad. He's not bad at all. Where's the full dodge build, buddy? Now, I mean, they do get dodge when they attack, if I remember correctly, what Kakao and Days do. Kakao and Days, they are a very good character, by the way. They they are a decent character. It's just that Amon and Raisin came out and just completely overshadowed how good this character actually is. I do think that Kakao and Days dodge this. They need to dodge this. No, okay, okay, okay. If they dodge, they're insane. I do have a full dodge build on the boys, right? On all except physical Turles, I have a crit. I think I'm going to go... I, I think I have a crit skill orb on him. We'll see what happens if he comes back on a banner when Global finally catches up to JP. Yeah, that's that's AGL Turles. <laughs> see ya, Goku Black. Trunks, all you have to do was go and find Turles, and, and that's it, man. 
all, all, all they had to do, all Trunks had to do that whole time was just find Turles. You find Turles, you find life. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and move on here. I don't. You guys already know, man, that uh, Turles is a is a taboo in my channel because I did that, I did not pull Turles. Uh, let's I guess go for Zamasu. Now, is this Zamasu gonna heal all the entire way through like the other the other Zamasus do? Maybe. We're actually gonna be able to use our goat's Vegeta Vegito here, so we'll, we'll see. I don't think we're gonna be able to transform into Vegito, by the way. No, no way we can. Uh you're you're 130. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just do the standard build Kai Goku, PyCon, of course, Vegito. Let's do UI Goku, and then I guess we'll do blue Gogeta. Or should I bring Kid Gohan? We'll we'll do blue Gogeta. The guaranteed crits and stuff like that will be very good. I guess Gohan would have gotten the extra leader skill from Goku, actually being on the category and all, but we'll we'll, we'll play around. We'll play around here a little bit, right? Oh, let's do yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. The play, I, I guess the plan here is really just try not to die. <laughs> I, we'll see what happens, right? These bosses, this this is the point where the bosses typically get hard, but the fact that we're already double digit tanking this guy, I, I, I'm not terrified at, at all. How much are we gonna do to him too, by the way? Yeah, yeah. And it doesn't look like he's healing either. So I, I guess this Zamasu is just free. This is actually, this is Zamasu from when Goku visits Universe 10, actually. Okay. Sure, sure. This is just the Dokkan Awakening of that character. That the, This is the TUR of the Zamasu Goku LR, the free-to-play LR, which we could get a new Zamasu Goku, right? They, they could just drop a new Zamasu Goku. It, 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 would, it, would, it would be fire. It would be fire. Not as a, yeah. Sorry, buddy. You're, you're not touching him. Man. All right. Let's put Goku and Vegeta in slot one where they belong. That is their their place, their need, their want, their everything. We can get the PyCon support too. Awesome. Let's see. They're, they're going to be fine. All right. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, we don't have another Future Saga enemy. Oh, okay. Never mind. 3.2. <laughs> we do have the 50% chance to dodge, but they don't have like their... Uh, they don't have the guard because we don't have another Future Saga like ally. But it's weird. We're facing a Future Saga enemy. Shouldn't... Shouldn't that, uh... Doesn't that count? No. I think it's... Is it really ally? Huh. I mean, they, they dodged every attack, so it doesn't matter to me, right? As long as they're dodging, they're good. Yeah, okay. It needs to be an ally. Okay, so we didn't get their intro. So their intro buff is actually off on this turn. I didn't think about that, actually. We we couldn't have gotten the intro at all. Okay, cool. Janemba... I mean, Gogeta's about to just finish off some muscle anyway, so not like it matters, but... Good to, good to know for next time. Next time we show up and pop off here. Okay. See you, Zamasu. See you, buddy. Appreciate ya. Appreciate ya. Get uh, get destroyed by Blue Gogeta. Our Super Saiyan Gogeta. I'm sorry. All right. Let's go into... Okay, wait. This is Sword of Hope Trunks? Oh, so who are we fighting at the very end? Is it Corrupted Zamasu? Yeah, okay. So it's Corrupted Zamasu we're fighting at the very end. Okay, good, good to know. Good to know. Okay, we'll do you and you, Bulma. Uh, we'll do the GT Duo, Gamma 1. Let's bring Carnival Goku and I guess STR Banner Unit Piccolo. Yeah, this this could work. This could work. We'll see. Super STR is a very strong typing. It's just for like mono Super STR. There's not a great lead for it. Other, I mean, LR Bulma is very... It's only attacking once? Oh, okay, pretty interesting. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's a weird uh, boss. Sure. Oh, only one attack? I haven't seen a boss only do one attack, like, ever. I, I literally can't remember, like, the last time only a, a, a boss would only do one attack. That's so weird. Okay, so is it going to be a super, and it's just going to be, like, the hard... Oh, it's a countdown. Okay, so we have to tear apart Trunks in, like, three seconds, otherwise we're dead. Okay, so good, good to know, good to know. So, okay. I mean, Trunks doesn't seem like he has a lot of HP anyway, so I, I guess it doesn't matter. This is just like the Int Trunks uh, Do kind of a, the you guys know the old, the really old uh, Int Super Saiyan Trunks Future Do Confess, where he, the first sort of whole character that they dropped, it's legit like that. He has a countdown in his Do kind of event. I remember grinding that event when it was like when I was like starting my account, and it was just like the longest grind ever. <laughs> So I was, uh, I'd be so bored of it, dude. It's like, okay, we get it. Please just die already. <laughs> I remember because it was a five phase Dokkan event and I hate five phases, but now they, they did basically drop uh, an eight phase Dokkan event. So I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because Infinite Zamasu is immortal. 
for three turns, which is so so it's so stupid. Like people don't care about the bosses in Dokkan. They just want to Dokkan awaken their characters and use the max power of the character, right? They don't they don't want to have to wait and sit through a phase that you cannot damage while he does absolutely nothing to you. It, it, it's just quite annoying. Man. All right, cool. Well, Trunks kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I guess if you count down, it's an instant one shot, though. So I, I guess we survived. Let's go ahead and take on Rosé here We're using super physical. We can bring Vegeta actually is a 130% leader here and we can do Bardock who's 120. Yeah, do Bardock. Let's do Beast, Piccolo, God Goku. Honestly, I could do God Goku and just run pure and hybrid Saiyan team. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that. We just do this, right? At least, because at least they'll be getting the extra 30% stats. The only thing we can, is we can't run like Piccolo, but I th that that won't matter too much, right? Same thing, and the same thing, Vegito 17. I guess we'll do Kid Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Sure. All right, this this is good. this will work. This works. So basically, the entire team except for Beast is at least getting is getting the 170 from both of the leader skills. Not bad, not bad. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't. So far, I haven't been like on the edge of my seat about to cry or anything like that. So I, I think we should be fine. Uh, God Goku creating many of orbs, which is what we need, which is one thing I really hate about this Vegeta character is how he needs his own like he needs physical orbs instead of just orbs I Imagine if all they all they had to do for this Vegeta was just okay. Where's your dodge? <laughs> just dodge man. I, It's cool. We're guarding but uh, I'd rather dodge so we don't even take one speck of, a, of anything. Yeah, no this this is easy Oh, yeah. Yeah, no this this <sighs> This is uh simple. <laughs> this is simple, man. <laughs> simple work here against our guy against our guy Rose. <laughs> Good to know. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's literally all he had to do. That's literally all our goat had to do. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, then Vegeta. I mean Vegeta now. Nah, yeah, there's a triple super by Vegeta. If this guy gets his super attacks in, we are good to go. Yeah, see. See ya, Rose. See ya, buddy. <laughs> That's what happens when you run a full category team against a battlefield boss, by the way. All right, Vegito. So we are bringing super ins. Let's do uh, you and you. We'll bring Vegito and Trunks, Super Saiyan 4, Goku. Let's do Yamcha, uh, Namek, Goku, and I guess the RF Blues. We are getting a total. We are getting 130, 120, and 120% to our leader skills. I, I guess this will this this should work. I could also just do Yamcha and then run an Earthbred Fighter build, but I'm running a lot of Vegeta care type characters. Cause who what could I do if I wanted to run Yamcha? I guess I could do Yamcha. They're Earthbred. They're Earthbred fighters. Right. Ignore that. By the way, ignore it. So I guess I could do Yamcha, them, Namek, Goku, Super Saiyan Four Goku, Piccolo, Gohan, and then Bulma, and then actually RF Blues. Huh. I didn't think about it. I could just run Yamcha as my lead. <laughs> okay, cool. Every character here is on the Earthbred Fighters category. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess we could just run Yamcha as lead and just play around here. Okay, cool. I, I, I was smart. I was smart. I, I, I thought about it and it, and it and it worked out in my favor. Uh, Yeah, let's go ahead and pop Yamcha's active. Sure. Might get the extra dodge chance and stuff like that. Might as well get the extra damage that we can get off as well. Then we can just, just chill out, man. I, I guess... Yamcha <laughs> will be fine. We'll be fine. They're, he's not like gonna kill Super Saiyan 4 Goku in one shot. No, no way. Man, they're using Tech LR Vegito Blue for this, by the way. Yeah, I mean, we took a little bit of damage, but a little bit of damage is uh, it's not like a crazy amount of damage, right? Now, I did recently buy the ROF Blues as well. I have been having like some fun with the character, but I, I they are not them, unfortunately. The, the ROF Blues are very underwhelming. So it like the only reason I picked them up is because they are the only they were one of the only 200% leader skills that I was missing The only 200% leader that I am missing currently now is eight. Well, there's two AGL kale and Omega Those are the only two 200% leads that I am missing Omega is gonna come back for the Christmas banner So I mean it's gonna be a while before we can get to Omega kale's return I'm fairly certain is going to be in October in that that tech bardock slot i think is when kale comes back because who is it it's kale and then golden week happened yeah no we're, we're he's done 
<laughs> he he's done next turn. It doesn't matter. I guess let's put Namek Goku in slot one, right? Let it, let's do the 18 keys. See if we can get the really sick KO screen with it. But I'm trying to think. KO. When did um when did Raditz come back last year? I want to say it was not on Yamcha's banner. I I, I want to say it was on Bardock's. He came back. Or was it on Kid Goku? It could have been on Kid Goku's. Actually, yeah, there's the sick ass KO screen, dude. Namek Goku's aesthetics are so like insane. It, it's crazy to me. All right, so I'm guessing the final boss is against the corrupted Merge Zamasu. Then, yeah, Merge Zamasu, and I'm assuming he'll go into corrupt Merge Zamasu here. Let's start off with the weaker team, right? Extreme Tech. Now I can run. I I could run Zamasu as my leader. He's 150, percent so we'll do that. Yeah, dude, this is gonna go uh, hard. Now, nah, there isn't like the only unit that will really link up well with Zamasu is going to be our guy, uh, LR, our guys, Goku Black and Zamasu. Zamasu is a 150% extreme lead as long as they are not on Realm of Gods, Global Chaos, or Fused Fighters, which they're on Global Chaos, but they, they, they're they on the leader scale. So, <laughs> like, I, I guess we could let's let's go ahead and pop in, right? Janemba as our sub lead, so Corroded Body and Mind characters get the extra buff as well, which Zamasu is on Corroded Body and Mind. He is, right? No, 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 he might not be. I think it's uh, it's just Goku Black, right? It's just Goku Black characters that are on Corroding Body and Mind. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, guys. What, what, what do you guys think? What do you guys uh, what do you guys uh, feel here? What's the play by play that we're about to pop off here, right? Uh, the, yeah, the thing about transforming Frieza is his key is kind of annoying, right? Okay, nice try. Sure. Go right on ahead, Zamasu. You do, do, do your damage, buddy. How, how much does this guy take? Yeah. <laughs> he debuffs attack, though. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, keep this in mind. Zamasu turn one cannot be touched, right? 80% damage reduction while having at least even 100k plus defense is too strong. That's literally all you need turn one. This Zamasu turn one is just like a god, right? Frieza at least gave us the additional super attack, which does raise his defense. So we want as many. Yeah, wow. He, he still takes damage. Attack Golden Frieza should be fine. Wow. Okay. We, we still take just a little bit of damage, huh? Oh, okay. He does his two of, he does his two super attacks as well. Good to know. Uh, no dodge, huh, Golden Frieza? But, I mean, he's not really damaging us. Any debuffs on that one? Okay. Good, good to know. This this is some good information. We'll save our active with the with the androids because I, I really don't want to pop it just quite yet. We did get the Janemba support and we can get the ATK with Goku Black and Zamasu. Once we have our Zamasu rotation built up, right? The Tech Zamasu and LR Goku Black and Zamasu rotation ready to go. I mean, this is just going to become a joke. For, for sure, this just becomes a joke. <laughs> All right, Zamasu has a lot of HP, by the way. Uh, I just realized that. Yeah, Z Zamasu's HP is high. We're not really doing damage to him. Like we're we're taking off a like a good amount, but we're not going crazy with it just quite yet, from the looks of it. Now, I mean, okay, there we go. That now that's damage. <laughs> that, that that's that's damage right there. That's damage right there. Okay, they're not gonna take anything. A hundred k. I, I guess that's that really I mean that is kind of nothing. We also have Janembu on the team <laughs> Janembu's on fused fighters. Oh wait. Yeah, we can get fused fighters up too uh, But I do want to get Zamasu fully built up. So we'll do this We can get the 18 key with Zamasu as well, which is gonna be very good for us And I guess we'll just chill out on Janembu. J Janembu is a very good character <laughs> Believe it or not like I don't think I don't see a lot of people really talk about Janembu But Janembu is a decent character like he's not the worst. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah so Z Zamasu is who's gonna be giving us the damage, dude. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, big dog. Okay. Beat your pre purple arm self, man. Oh, nice try, Zamasu. <laughs> nice try, man. Uh, I, I I love LR and Merge Zamasu, man. I, I truly do love Merge Zamasu so much. <laughs> this LR Zamasu character and LR and Merge Zamasu, they're like probably my two. This is probably my favorite release of the year because it's a Goku Black uh, character, technically, right? It's, it's Merge Zamasu, but I can't imagine that Goku Black will probably be shortly behind, which at that point, that would be my all-time, like, what favorite release ever. All right, let's do this. Do the orbs fall the way I want them to? They did. We can still get the support with Janemba, and we can do this. And then next turn, we will have our GOAT, uh, 
This comes with a key blast, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, sorry, Zamasu. I, I, as much as I love you, uh, you're not touching them. I, I'm guessing we're going to fight corrupt merge Zamasu, though. This this can't just be the only phase. Yeah, okay. Are we going to fight infinite Zamasu? That would kind of be... <laughs> I guess that would kind of be cool, right? Not really like the craziest thing. We might actually get Golden Frieza. I just, <laughs> we might transform into Golden Frieza. Okay. Uh, sure. How much are you gonna do with this? How much are we feeling, chat? How how much are we feeling, buddies? Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. Now we got the extra defense from falling below our HP threshold. Zamasu is fully built up offensively, and if we survive the next rotation, which I will just pop the Android backwards. Oh. Never mind, Zamasu's just doing way too much damage. <laughs> I could pop the Android's active skill and then, okay. <laughs> Zamasu, my goat. Uh, <laughs> yo. Okay, <laughs> or, we just, or we just take care of Zamasu in three seconds too. That, that works, that works. Keep in mind that uh, Rose is getting a 200% leader skill here. Goku Black and Zamasu, they're not getting a full 200% leader skill, but they're getting at least one. Okay, that that was... That was painless. <laughs> that was painless. <laughs> okay. Uh, good to know, man. <laughs> there, I guess there you guys go. There, There's Dokkan Battlefield uh, complete. I guess let's go collect the Dokkan Battlefield rewards here. I mean, these rewards are always fire. Dude, 35 stones. And I guess since we have a multi, why not, right? I, I, I'll i chase a dupe for Goku and Vegeta. I still do need Mai as well. So let's let's do it. Let's, let's pop a multi. Let's pop a multi here for our guys, Goku and Vegeta. Let's see if we get lucky. If not, it's all good. No worries. All right, sweet. Krillin and Piccolo. Zeno? No. Keep in mind, I, I can't hear if they're saying like Owadida or anything like that. I don't know why my OBS is weird, but I can't like hear hear them say, okay, we got we got something. They went blue. That means a Dokkan fest. If they, if he goes blue, we're gonna go. To... I don't need him anymore. I, this is a dupe for the TUR. Great. I okay. Lots of SSRs, but uh, unfortunately, wow, a lot of SSRs actually. Unfortunately, not anything uh, too great. So there you guys go. Though that was Dokkan Battlefield. Honestly, really easy. Th this was built for new players. Is pretty much what it is. So. If you guys made it to the end of the video, leave your boy a like and a subscribe, and I will see you guys here in the next one.